proving Shoniji wrong. Again, Shoniji put out a video called Can I Max My Saji Skills in One In Game Day? Good video. If you haven't watched it already, watch it. Where he goes through each of the different skills and attempts to go from 0 XP to level 10 in a single day. He succeeded with farming, mining and foraging. He didn't succeed in fishing and combat. I gave fishing a go and I succeeded in it and I put out a video myself. And then in that video, Shona commented, okay, do combat next. So let's do combat next. So let's see what Shawnee has to say about combat and then we'll come up with a plan as to what we can do. Try out combat. Now combat is extremely similar to mining, but like 10 times harder. You would still need to slay 682 of them. 682 bats. I tried attempting this using a similar method to the one I did for mining, with the slight adjustments being that I couldn't use a galaxy hammer, as that would require entry to the Adventurer's Guild, which requires me to kill 10 slimes. So instead, I had to use the Slammer, which sometimes can drop from crates in the mines. I tried heading deep into the Skull Caverns, except this time I was checking for floors with large amounts of enemies spawned on them, or infested floors. It was far more difficult than mining, as a lot less enemies spawned than Iridium nodes. I tried using this method, but despite my best efforts, efforts at the end of the day I only hit level 5 which is like a third of the experience points you need to get to level 10. So just like that it seems like another skill is impossible. Okay we'll end it there. The, the rest of the section he talks about using slime hutches and sending them up tiger slimes which you get from lionfish fish ponds. Unfortunately the slimes that you kill that you grow you don't get XP from. So combat use a slammer in the mines going for enemies and only getting to level 5. So, makes a good point that you don't have access to the Adventure Guild. Now, a couple of things that we can improve on. Let's consider Monster Musk. So Monster Musk, Monster Mew, Musk, is a way of encountering more enemies in the mines. In order to get the recipe for Monster Musk, you need to complete the Prismatic Jelly Special Order, which requires killing the Prismatic Jelly. Killing the Prismatic Jelly will give you XP. Now, that's something I haven't actually considered. If you kill a monster with a bomb do you get xp i've built a bot that lets chat solve a cryptic crossword a grid get shown on screen there's the grid killing a monster with a bomb does that give you combat xp the easiest thing to do for this would be to go and blow up a monster and then check the save file afterwards so okay where was the experience gains is here if who is not null it might be possible for the farmer to be null and which could be from a bomb Okay, let's go kill a monster with a bomb. <laughs> Welcome in, Shawnee. This is the man behind the video, behind the challenge, who threw the gauntlet down by saying, now talk with combat. One thing that we're checking, if you kill an enemy with a bomb, do you get XP from it? Because if you don't get XP for it, then you can get monster musk. I'm going to check the save file for my current experience points. I believe combat is this one, so 31. Let's come back in here, let's load that file up. And we're going to go to the mines. We're going to go down, we're going to get an enemy, and we're going to go boom. We have now killed an enemy with a bomb. We're going to go home to sleep, and we're going to check our save file. Reload the save. We got XP. So, you cannot get Monster Musk. You cannot be using Monster Musk, which is a shame, because that would have been good. Not all is lost. There's three other things that I have in mind. So in the video, Shawnee was running through Skull Caverns, going down, killing enemies as he come, comes across. Fair enough. But what if we do this? We come into Skull Caverns and we do the strategy. You don't need to go down in the mines. You don't need to get deeper. So getting deeper would get you to a reading bats, but you can do this strategy. You can see if these enemies are close, if they aren't, leave, come back in again, pause, any enemies close, no, leave, pause, and then you get a floor like this, and you go out and you kill everything. Just like that, without the speed and without the one hit kill, of course, you just keep cycling out. So that is the floor that you do. So you go to Skull Caverns Floor 1 and you have the infested floors on. 
Now the big slimes give you 21 XP, the small slimes give you 10. Now uh, Shawnee used the slammer, saying that you can get it to drop from crates. Yes, you can. Valid. You can get the Dragon Tooth Club and you can get access to the forge. You don't need any combat XP to get to the volcano and you can get to the forge without killing anything. You can get to the forge, you can use enchants, you can use rubies, you can use aquamarines on your weapons to make them more, more powerful before you do this. And you can open up the crates in the volcano to give yourself the dragon tooth club. So you can use a better weapon. And the last thing you can do is turn on dangerous mode, turn on hard mode. So if we come into the code and if we come to mine shaft and we have a look for get additional difficulty level and we come to where it spawns monsters. So the more difficult monsters don't give bonus XP, unfortunately, but adjust level chances here. Monster chance. For each additional difficulty, so legitimately you can only really get this to one. Must kill all monsters to advance, that's an in, infested in floor, which puts monster chance at 2.5%. So monster chance is generally 0.2% plus up to another 2%. So anywhere from 0.2 to 2.2% is the standard monster chance. However, we have an infested floor, in which case that gets set to 2.5 and then with additional difficulty you get another 2% so 4.5% monster chance. So we have a floor that you can reset fast that's going to have a lot of monsters on it with a dragon tooth club with three rubies on it and the acrobat, acrobat? Artful with the artful enchant, the enchant that cuts the cooldown and I'm also planning on having an iridium needle loaded with aquamarines as well and I may also have another club, another needle with crusader on them or mummies because mummies are 20 xp so that's my plan so we wake up, drink a coffee, drink a magic rock, eat a magic rock candy walk to the desert and I'm going to have a booty express set up and then we just constantly reset floor ones of the skull caverns over and over and over with the hard mode set with my weapons and see how we go from there. Let's get this set up shall we? So we're going to make a new file and then we're just going to set the day. We want a slime floor on floor one skull caverns and then we'll just give it a go and see how we go. I just had an idea it's not going to work I can say right now it's not going to work but imagine if you could hatch a prismatic slime and you married, well, and you got Krobus to move in with you. And you incubated the slime in the house and it was prismatic and he killed it. Because I believe Krobus attacks monsters that come up to him in the house. But you cannot get that slime incubator without combat XP. That would have been awesome. Is there anything else? Rings. You effectively have four ring slots, but you don't have access to all rings. So you do have, you potentially have access to the wedding ring but it doesn't do anything. You don't have access to Savage Ring, that's gonna be annoying. You do have access to Iridium Band. You do have access to Ruby, Aquamarine, Jade, Amethyst, Topaz, Emerald. Don't have access to Jukebox, cause you just don't get that. Do have access to Immunity Band. I think I'm going to use an Immunity Band to make sure that I do not get slowed by slimes. Cause I'm gonna get hit now and again. If I have the immunity band with a boot that gives me up to six immunity, then I'm never going to get slowed. So I'm probably going to go for an immunity band, two ruby rings, and an aquamarine ring. So let's get ourselves set up. So our name, once again, is Lady Jew. Our name is Combat. Favorite thing is proving Shawnee wrong. Arm type doesn't matter. Okay, so it's my normal character, except the shirt and the pants are different. We'll just make the farm. We fished up two ruby rings, and we also fished up a aquamarine ring. We went to the skull caverns or we got some omni geodes and we got ourselves a whole heap of prismatic shards and while we're at those places as well we got ourselves some rubies and some aquamarines and while we were in the volcano we got ourselves some cinder shards. So we got all of this without getting a single point of combat XP. Haymaker, Bug Killer, Crusader, Vampiric, RNG moment. Like I could predict this, but we're just gonna brute force this. Eventually we will get there. There we go, Artful. So we have our weapons, which we got legitimately without a single point of combat XP. We've got a crit build with Artful and Crusader, and we've got a 
power build for that crusader we've got our magic rock candies which we've got legitimately and we've got our triple shot espresso that we pre-seasoned to last longer okay one more thing to set up which was a a favorite of my video all aboard the booty express so you can buy the furniture catalog to get yourself an unlimited supply of chairs time pauses whenever you hop in and hop out of a chair so now all that's left to do is to find a day on the save which gives us a infested slime floor on floor one of the skull caverns daily luck does not matter for monster spawning doesn't matter for anything that we're doing today 20th of fall year two so let's get ourselves to the 20th of fall year two and then load reload the game without smapping on doesn't matter where the bed is because I'm just going to go straight to the mines. We are set. Now if I make this into a video, we're going to have a, a cryptic crosswords being continually worked on on the top left. That's going to confuse the video. Perfect. Once again, we have Lady Dew. I forgot to do something. Okay, we now have the skull key. Now we're back to standard Stardew. And we try this again. Let's do this. 16. The first five layouts cannot be infested. Here we go. I forgot something. Anyone remember what I forgot? I forgot two things. Early cats came up with another thing I forgot. Six and five. The ring gives plus four. Definitely mermaid boots. So put those on. Looking at snazzy. The thing I forgot. Hopefully there's just one here. <laughs> Is this. You could have 180 there. Hopefully that remains. Now we should be all set. Let's try again. Here we go. Now it's 6.10 now. So there's 20 hours in the day. Each hour has 16 minute ticks. We have already, we're already at 16. We need 15,000 XP in total. Every 10 minute tick, we need to be getting 126 XP. That's a good number of enemies there. I think we just go for it. I think I got the what I needed for that tick. Oh, look at this floor. Too far away. I'm going to reset. If I have a stack of stairs as well, it means that when I want to leave, I put a staircase down, I use it, and then I made the exit ladder on floor two. Here's a floor. Well, here we go. Three mummies there, 60 XP. I'd need to call those in three seconds. I think I can do. Ooh. 
that looks juicy over there, but I'm not running over there. The first five floor layouts, so the layouts you get in floors one to five of the mines, cannot be infested. And floors of layouts 31 to 40, the mummy floors, also cannot be infested. However, if I was to ladder down to floors 30 through 40 in the Skull Caverns, every floor will be a mummy floor. Ooh, 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 look at this floor. How flexible do we want to be with these rules? Because I could potentially have explosive ammo. If I start the file on 1.4.0 or earlier, buy the explosive ammos and then move up to current patch, that means I could purchase the explosive ammo from the. I can't get into the adventure skill. Never mind. Unless you could get green slime. Unless killing slimes that you hatch count. You go 1.4.0, you have fish ponds. Does the slime jack have green slime eggs as a potential drop? If that worked, then you've got access to your galaxy hammer, infinity gavel. That is a lot of royal serpents up there. There's eight up there. So all fly away. Come on back, everyone. That one's out of here. Comet level six. I'm at least 3,300. I'm on track. I'm actually on track. I'm a fifth of the way there, and I'm a fifth of the way through the day. I'm on pace. I didn't actually expect to be on pace. This one may be worth it. Come on, everyone, gather around. Bye, Gordon. Oh, there's been a book redeem. The Glunk That Got Thunk. All right, let's do that now. The Glunk That Got Thunk by Dr. Seuss. The thing my sister likes to do some evenings after supper is sit upstairs in her small room and use her thinker upper. And they gave her quite a talking to her about her thinker upper. Now she only thinks up fuzzy things in the evenings after supper. Come on, you guys. I should be fine, I don't lose anything. Just gonna cost us a little bit of time getting back. Okay, so I'm about a third of the way. I should be well into level seven. Cool. In Shawnee's attempt, he got to level five. Yeah, if you're after Glunk that got thunk, I don't know how you would. I need to collab with the Dr. Seuss rights holders and release a special Blade Edition Dr. Seuss collection with a audiobook download. You gonna come at me? This is where I need a slingshot. If I need to do this day again, I'm having a slingshot with a Redeem Ore in it. So a slingshot to aggravate that guy again would be good. Got 12 hours left. We need to hit level eight soon in order to still be on pace. Eight, we're level eight. So we're probably at about 7,000. We still seem to be on pace. I think this area is overrun with monsters. We're now at four o'clock, which is halfway, exactly halfway. We are sitting at fishing level eight. We've been at fishing level eight for a while. We are on pace. When we hit fishing level nine, we'll be two thirds of the way for XP. So we need to hit level nine by before eight. If we hit level nine before eight, we're on pace. So clearly, clearly Shawnee, Shawnee should have consulted me before. See if there's any, any other ideas that could be done. What's really annoying with those royal serpents is when you whack them so far off screen that they despawn, even if you can still see their tail. Nice small floor. Do not die. <laughs> That's the first time we cleared all the enemies on the floor. Level 9. 
we are ahead of pace. We are two thirds on the way to level 10 and we are less than two thirds of the way through the day, I think. Okay, depending on when we got level nine. I don't know when we got level nine. 720 is when we need to head up by, so I didn't quite check it that in time. But we should be on pace. I reckon we are done checking skills. We either get it or we don't. We have the drum roll at the end of the day to see whether we actually got it. Boom. And a serpent. Okay, that was a very good floor. 940. We are getting there, chat. We are getting there. Arr. Slam that ladder. Don't slam that like button. Don't slam that follow button. Slam that ladder. Two hours left. Ooh. I like. One more big floor. So close to the end of the day. One more big floor. And then we see how we went. This is not it. Neither is this. Neither is that. Nope. I'm pretty sure I have it. There's a lot of serpents on this floor that we're going to finish with this one. Hopefully he swings back down. He does. Uh, we'll head down. Both of those, nice. Last tick. Oh, well, this, that was huge. All right, first full attempt. We started with zero XP. Did we get level 10? So level one, we would have got that right away. Level two, level three, level four, level five. Uh, we want all attacks to deal 10% more damage. Level six here, we, we can finally make our slime eggs. Level seven, all this HP would have been handy as well. Rings that we can now use. Level eight, level nine. Drum roll please. Let's go. First attempt, level 10 combat, one day, more HP. Let's see how much XP did we actually get. Shawnee only commented today to do combat. I didn't expect to actually get it over and done with the one stream. Okay, you ready for this? Right there. 16,203. We do need a tweet, don't we? Let's craft that now, shall we? That was a fun challenge. We gotta throw the shade. There we go. That was a fun challenge. Level 10 combat in a day.